make sure you're using a render pipeline that supports a VFX graph and have the visual effects graph package installed through the package manager before we start. To start, let's create a new visual effect attached to our camera. Scooting it forward by 2.5 meters so it's in view of our camera and go ahead and hit new to make a new visual effect and open it up. So first off, to get our particles spawning in a nice circular position, we're gonna go ahead and add a set position. Just type in circle and select the one that says shape arc circle. Since we want the radius to be adjustable, let's go ahead and add a new float here called radius. Set that default value to one. Just gonna scoot things down here. Open up our circle drawer. Plug the radius in. Let's remove the set velocity block for now and lower the lifetime to, let's say, 0.4 to 0.9. Since we need really sort of elongated and stretched particles for this, let's go ahead and add some adjustable scale variables to control how they look. So I'm gonna add two vector twos, one called X scale range, and another called Y scale range. For the X scale range, this is going to need to be the long one. Let's set it between 6 and 10. And for the Y scale, say 0.25 to 0.75. So let's make a set scale block. And open up this little drawer here. We're going to have to do a little bit of setup to get these ranges working so that it's randomly picking a number per particle. So we can go ahead and add random number blocks. Disable constant so it's different per particle. And let's start with the X. Let's grab our X scale range. Open it up so we have access to both of these. And that's min to max. And plug that into our X. And now you can see we have very long particles, but they're slightly randomized. Duplicate that random number block and do the same thing for the Y scale range. Plug those in and plug that into Y. So they're spawning in a circle and they're nice and long, but they look really weird now. So we need to get them facing the center of the circle instead of the camera plane. So we'll switch this to look at position and just leave that default. So it's looking at the origin of the VFX graph. And at this point, we might as well grab the texture. You can download this from the description. But I'm just gonna add the white spike texture here. It looks okay but they're not exactly facing the right way. So to fix that, we just need to add a set angle uh, and just do a 90 degree turn on the Y axis. They're facing the right way. They look all right. What is wrong? Uh, for one, I want to switch the blend mode to additive. And then we're going to go ahead and set up the velocity for these particles. So particles basically need to spawn in and leave the screen as fast as possible. But to get them pushed outwards, we need to apply a spherical velocity. So in our initialized particle, add a set velocity, and it's the one that says from direction and speed spherical. For the speed here, I just add another random block. Let me go between three and six and plug that in. So now our particles are spawning in and sort of leaving the screen at a good uh, pace. Finally, to just add a little more variation to where they're spawning, we can add a add position random per component. And we just want to go between negative 0.2 and 0.2. Just adds a little variation there. Next, we want control over the spawn rate since 16 particles is not quite enough, but we want it to be customizable. So let's go ahead and add a new float called spawn rate. And let's go with 96 as the default plug that in and it's hitting this capacity of 32 so we just need to raise this it doesn't really matter it should be like 3200 and we essentially have the effect we want the reason it doesn't look quite right here is because the radius isn't high enough so now that we have access to that we can select our visual effect in the hierarchy and just increase the range to like two boom now spawning closer to the edge of the screen and leaving immediately Finally, let's add control over the color. We can remove this uh, size over life, color over life. Those are just remnants of the default particle. I'm gonna add a set color random from gradient. And we can go ahead and add a new gradient in our 
blackboard here. And then just call it like color gradient. Plug that in, change this to just color. And speaking of alpha, let's add a set alpha random, just so that some of the streaks are more transparent than others. And that's effectively it. Now we can go ahead and go back in here, select this visual effect, color gradient, and try all kinds of stuff. Let me go ahead and enable bloom. There we go. So we could do some cool sci-fi looking effects. And feel free to play with these X and Y scales. This is just gonna affect like how thick each individual particle is and how long each individual particle is. And do rainbows, different colors, plain white, make it look through your, like you're driving in hyperspace or something. So that is how you make anime speed lines in VFX Graph. Thanks for watching.